Hey, Glads fans, we are just a few days away from Christmas as the Gladiators get ready to take on the Jacksonville Icemen at the Vistar Veterans Memorial Arena. Last week, the Gladiators had a three-game set with the Florida Everblades over in Estero. And then last night, they took on the Orlando Solar Bears in this building, the Amway Center here in Orlando. I'm Mike Folta, the team broadcaster, and this is The Short Shift. The first game of the three-game series between the Glads and the Blades took place last Wednesday with Cody Sylvester scoring the lone goal. He got his 10th tally of the season. Atlanta held the advantage up until the beginning of the third period when Florida tied it up and then eventually netted two more to take a 3-1 victory. Hugo Waugh and Cameron Kiley both departed from Atlanta late last week after Kiley was recalled back up to the Belleville Senators and Waugh signed a PTO contract with the B-Sens. Waugh tallied 14 points for the Glads in 17 games and Kiley had himself 8 points in his 11-game stint with Atlanta. Friday night was one for the record books as Mike Pellick moved into sole possession of second place on the ECHL all-time games played list. The Glads picked up a 2-1 victory in the revenge matchup on that Friday night. Mike Turner got his second goal of the year early in the first period, and then Cody Sylvester netted his fifth game-winning goal midway through the third. After a 5-1 loss last Saturday, the Glads got back to it Tuesday night when they took on the Solar Bears in Orlando. Atlanta showed out offensively. Mike Pellick got a pair of goals and an assist in the 5-3 win for the Glads. Derek Nesbitt collected his sixth tally of the season, and Elijah Villio pulled off a slick spin move and then a nice backhander for his third goal of the campaign. It's the Gladiators and the Icemen tonight. Captain Derek Nesbitt will be playing in his 1,000th professional game here this evening. The Gladiators take a quick break for the holidays and then they'll be back down in the Sunshine State to take on the Iceman once again on the 28th. That's all the time we have here today. From all the Gladiators, we wish you a happy holidays and we'll see you next week right back here on The Short Shift.